This year, as the whole world lives through a crisis that touches everybody and upsets the very fabric of what we thought was normal life, it may be a little easier to imagine the upheaval that spread across the world little over a hundred years ago as war reached across the world. From 1914 to 1918, World War I affected just about every man and woman and child on our planet in many the same ways as the virus crisis is today. Not everyone was directly affected by the fighting, just as not everybody will be infected by the virus. But very few mums and dads, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters weren't in some way indirectly affected by the Great War by food shortages and rationing, by restrictions on movement, by fear and suspicion, and worrying every day how their family would get through this terrible test. But the war eventually ended, and everyone was very grateful to the men and women who faced the enemy head on for the greater good of everyone else. And as time ticked on, the world healed and the brave men and women who saw us through the crisis and survived got on with their lives too alongside the rest of us. But they were never forgotten. Their deeds, their bravery and their sacrifice was remembered and celebrated, at least in spirit, and the Adenzac legend was born. While the thousands of individual names and the millions of individual acts of bravery or sacrifice were not and could not be known to us, the memory of their sacrifice and bravery as a whole should never be forgotten. Yet it is not easy to remember, especially when the Great War happened so long ago, especially when there have been so many wars across the years that followed and especially this year, when we are in the midst of a new world crisis and our traditional dawn services to remember those original Anzacs have been cancelled. But we must still remember them. So please, the next time you pass the school office and you see the bear in the glass cabinet, don't just think how cute and walk on. Pause for just one moment and reflect on what that cute little bear actually represents. Reflect for just one moment on the sacrifice and bravery of our original Anzacs. And then reflect on the brave nurses, doctors, ambos, police, soldiers and others who are out there this very day fighting a new enemy on our behalf with the spirit of Anzac running through their veins. When this current crisis is over, I hope we will also remember them too, for what they are doing right now for the rest of us. Remember also that the young Aussie boys and girls attending Nanawal Primary School today are not so different to the millions of young boys and girls who've attended so many schools across this big wonderful country over the past two centuries. These little Aussies, of whom we are so proud, are tomorrow's nurses, doctors, ambos, policemen, soldiers, and Anzacs in the making. Mm -hmm.